Hello and welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade. And today we're marching about doing our exploring, which is why I probably look quite scruffy today. Because as you'll see in my exploring video, the repair the fence. So I've had to find alternative routes to get around to these kind of places again. But we're here to do food review on my scorpion fish pate i bought this while i was on my cruise and we were stopped in portugal it's pate de tinoso pate de cabaraccio if any portuguese i'm watching i'm really sorry i can't pronounce what uh, this is um all i know it's a scorpion fish pate and scorpion fish is indigenous to the waters around portugal and the bay of biscan which is why I picked this up because you can't get this anywhere else. I think you could probably order online, but it would come from Portugal because they don't stock this anywhere else. So I've had this a couple of weeks. It's been in the fridge, so it should be fine. We'll crack it open. Ooh. Do you know what? I thought I was going to need a can opener. I really did. And do you know what? I've actually brought one just in case. But there's no label on here at all, it's all on the box. Um, the ingredients, which there is no English version, so we're going to try and Cabaraccio 40%, which I'm assuming is the scorpion fish, um, Mazzola, tomato, mantequilla, potina la catra, pepper and polenta vino, maybe got wine in it. Pimenta Sassola. Um, like I said, not a, the only two I can understand is the tomato, obviously. <laughs> but I hate Portuguese, I might have to learn some Portuguese the next time I go. So we're gonna peel this open. I ain't sure. It smells like. Fish pate, basically. It looks, you see that, it's like a salmon paste. It looks, it's very smooth. But uh, I ain't sure. It looks like like a sandwich spread you'd get, like the beef pate you used to have with kids and stuff. I ain't sure if I'm going to enjoy this, I ain't sure at all. But Very strong, very strong fish taste. But I suppose it'd be all right on a sandwich or on a bit of pat uh, as it is a pate on like Melba toast or something like that. But I don't think you could eat a lot. It's it's very very fish strong tasting. I don't know what scorpion fish is because I've never had it before. If we do go back to Portugal, I might have to pop into a restaurant and see what the actual fish looks like. It's a bit too, a bit too fish for me. Very, very strong. When you I try eating more and more of it, but it's nice. It's it's something I've never had before, and something I wanted to try when I saw it on a shelf in a shop. So. I can honestly say I've tried scorpion fish. As soon as I saw the word scorpion, automatically resembles chili to me, but it's not chili. So that was my review on pate de tocino, which is a Portuguese um, pate. If you do want to order it online, producto productosdetatorist.com. I'll show you. It's easier than trying to explain it to you. That's the web address if you want to pop over, take a look and see if you fancy it. But it's quite nice, if you am a fishy person, you probably would enjoy it as a starter or something like that. But still lingering, the fish taste still lingering a lot. So yeah, it was nice. I'm glad I tried it. Something I'll probably never have again because like I say, 
squawking fish is indigenous to the waters in the Bay of Biscan. So if we don't go back there, then I'll never have it again. But I did enjoy it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're watching me for the first time. Check out my other food reviews, and I will see you all again very, very soon. Maybe in a location like this, maybe somewhere else. Exploring videos to come. So take it easy, relax, enjoy your weekend. Peace!